Mastering enough. Enhancing your English proficiency. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our grammar series. Today, we're diving into a specific quantifier that you've likely encountered. The word, enough. Enough is incredibly versatile and can enrich your sentence structures, enhancing your ability to express more complex ideas. Let's explore this useful word together. To start, we need to understand the basic meaning of enough. It is used when we want to say that something is adequate or sufficient in quantity, size, or degree for a particular purpose. We often use it when we don't need or want more of something. Sounds simple, right? But how do we use it in sentences? That's what we're going to break down in the following sections. When enough is used with nouns, it usually appears before the noun. For example, she has enough money to buy a new car. We have enough time to finish the project. In both of these examples, enough comes before the noun, money, time, and expresses an adequate quantity or amount. When enough is used with adjectives or adverbs, it comes after them. Let's look at a few examples. The soup is hot enough. He runs fast enough to win the race. Here, enough follows the adjective hot and the adverb fast, indicating the adequate level or extent of the quality expressed by these words. Sometimes we use enough in negative contexts. Here, not enough means something is inadequate or insufficient. For instance, I do not have enough experience for this job. There is not enough space in this room. In both examples, not enough shows a lack of sufficiency in terms of the noun, experience, space. Enough is also used with verbs. In such cases, enough comes after the verb, forming a structure that indicates the sufficiency of the action in focus. For example, I can't study enough for this test. She doesn't eat enough. In these cases, enough indicates the adequacy of the action described by the verb study, eat. It denotes that the action is not carried out to a satisfactory extent. Well, that wraps up our session on using enough. Hopefully, you now have a good grasp of this quantifier and its varied usage. Practice makes perfect, so try to use enough in your everyday conversations and written English. Remember, learning English is not about being perfect, but about making enough progress each day. See you in our next lesson.